Um, good afternoon. I'm Alexander Robinson. I'm from the class of 1979, back in the bad old days. It was never good, and it provides me personally with the inspiration to continue this journey. Now, the, the, the scholarship and welfare program is geared toward assisting primarily our students and parents because really the burden is being taken off the parent to facilitate the student. We also assist our staff, our hardworking staff and also past students who need help. So the scholarship and welfare program is wide and it needs a lot of funding. Now, to achieve what we have, it takes a lot of effort. So I'd like to say here and now that we're grateful to the past students and to friends of Excelsior who have contributed to this program. To provide a check in excess of $500,000 is not an easy task, right? And I tell you, I am one of those who you call a, a proud black man and I don't like begging. But I will beg till my dying days for Excelsior. I tell you that. So, I could not have done this alone, so I'd like to here tell you that I'm grateful to one of our past principals, uh, Miss Alison Peart, who also served on our committee, a past student who's a lecturer at the university, Dr. Patricia Northover, a member of the staff of the track and field team, Mr. Al Alexander. We sit together from time to time and strategize strategize how best we can augment this program to make it larger, stronger, more beneficial to the student and the wider Excelsior community. So, having said all that, I don't want to detain you any longer. Let me tell you, it's a journey and it continues. We don't stop. Next year, we want to do this bigger and better. And for the first time, we are able to reach out to a, a wider group of students. This year, the beneficiaries are 25. We started with eight students and now we have extended to 25 students. All right, so we're working hard to facilitate it. Now, all we ask in return, especially the parent, is that we're making this sacrifice for the students and to ease some of your burden. Your sole job is to get the students here, get them in the frame of mind to learn, right? Don't undo what the teachers work hard to do in the day. You go and undo it when you go home. Get them and keep them in that frame of mind so that they will continue to learn. Because once you arrive here, I'm guaranteeing you the students will learn. <laughs> huh? and, I, and I say this passionately because I'm a product of this school and I had it very difficult. I'm from a family with a humble, humble social background. There are six of us who came out of West Kingston. And many times I'm here without lunch. My parents, all they had to do is make sure I reach here. Because you couldn't stay home. There are so many other options when you stay home. Options to get in the wrong company. Options to do the wrong things. So my parents made a choice. If me come here hungry, barefoot, I'm coming. Right? And I've learned that once I reach here, I must learn. <laughs> right. So the, it is important for the students as well. Remember, everything is here for you to learn. Right? Everything you need is here. As long as you focus on being here and utilizing the opportunity that exists. Other students in Jamaica don't get to come to Excelsior. And Excelsior is different from other schools. I can tell you, my siblings did not attend Excelsior. They went to other schools and they didn't do as well. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, I take that back. <laughs> I take that back. I, I, that was just a joke. But I'm, all I'm saying is, appreciate what you have here. Look about you. Look at these other students beside you. They're going to be your friends for life. 
right? So when you get old, you look back and say, my oldest and longest friends were the friends I had in high school. All right? This I'm telling you so that you know and appreciate the journey that you're on. And don't lose track, do not lose focus. It may be hard, but there's nothing harder than poverty. And the only route out of poverty is through an education. All right? Remember that. The only route through to avoid poverty is education. Use the opportunity that you have, keep it, and move on from strength to strength. I thank you for your attention, and now I'd like to use the opportunity to ask our good president to hand out these letters indicating your grant and how it shall be utilized. I, I'm not sure if the principal, vice principal, did you explain? Right. Well, to be sure, the, the check that was presented to the principal represents the total contribution from the Past Students Association. So to access the benefit of $20,000 each, you will have to indicate to the Guidance Council Department how you want to, the, the Accounts Department, how you want to utilize it, whether through uniforms, through books, through lunch, whatever it is, but the funds are available and at your disposal. We don't want to tell you how to spend it, but you will not get a check in your hand. The funds go to the school and you access the benefit through the account department. Any questions? Thank you. Thank you. All right.